Hello everyone, welcome to Caroline's Craftery. Today, yes, today we are doing week 21 of the CCT 52 challenge. Always remember, no rules, just guidelines. It's just to help you um, challenge for some fun, use up your stash, think outside the box. There are lots of videos I explain it all, so let's get right into it. We rolled a four. So we are going to do a page or a page cover, and we need four prompts. Let's see what we got. Last few weeks, we've gotten away pretty easy. Let's see, we got one, we got two, we got three, and we got Four. Let's see what we have to do. Something metal. Okay. A clock. A building. And circles. It doesn't seem like it should be really hard. They go together fairly well, so it shouldn't be too bad. So I'm going to go and I'm going to find my four items plus anything else. Got to get an idea in my head for a page or a page cover. And then, yeah, we'll be back to make what we're going to make for week 21. Okay, so I'm back with my goodies. So, um... I found this picture, it's actually from a calendar, and I'm thinking, okay, well, I've got something metal, we've got a building, there's got to be a clock in the truck, and circles all over the place. So I could glue that down to my page and I could be done, but we're not going to do that, that's too easy. I've got a clock here, this is from an old watch that I took apart. So we got that. So that's also a circle, and we've got circles on the truck. But I found this is from inside of a book that I had, and there's a bunch of circles on there. So I'm thinking I'm going to try to put that into there somehow. So let's see what we can do here. I've got this page here, and we're going to make a cover for the back of it here. So I want to... What do I want to do? Okay, so let's just... I'm just going to rip off a little bit here. Just because then I can have a little bit of a ripped edge. Because I like tearing things apart. And I hope you're following along with this challenge. And then let's turn it around so I have a flat surface. I want to make sure I still see the, the um, stitching on this page. So I'm going to make it right about there. Let's just rip that off. Then we've got that. Now I'm going to need a scrap piece of paper. Just going to use this. I'll show you why I need that in a second. So I've got this here little arrow and I'm going to put it inside the clock and then it'll also turn. I'm going to put that. Just got a little piece of foam here because I'm just going to put this on and I'm just going to push it through there. And this is just going to be where my just push through. Um, 
think I'm going to put a little bit of glue on the back of it. Oops, I need to take my pin out of my glue, I guess would be a good idea. Let's put some glue on the back of this. Uh, hopefully, the art glitter glue will work for holding this down. I think it will. Okay, let's put this back through the hole now. Kind of doing this the hard way. Ouch! That was my finger I went into. Let's just put the clock the right way up. Fold this over. Now it'll still turn. And I think the glue will hold it good enough down there. Now this here paper, I'm just going to put on the back here um, just to give it a little support. And I think I'll leave this as a pocket. I mean, a page cover can be a pocket too, I think. Just going to glue the outside of this. I want... The edge is glued fairly good because I don't want it to, oops, um, when I put things in and out of the pocket, I don't want it to get all hung up on it. Let's glue, the, make sure the edges are glued down. A little bit of this here. So now we have an old barn with this on it. It's going to take a while, of course, for that glue to dry under there. Now this is going to be here. Now I kind of like some of these pieces in here. I like that and I like this here. I could have cut these out. Okay, let's cut this out around here. I like doing these challenges because it really helps me use things that normally I wouldn't use, maybe themes I wouldn't use. And it's funny because I love steampunk, but I hardly ever do anything with steampunk. I'm thinking that glued down to the page. And this here would be, hmm, I'm going to cut this down some though. To make it a little bit smaller. And try to keep it fairly round, but yeah. There. Now it fits within the pocket. So this is kind of going to go like that. And then let's cut this one out. Got to cut these out off of camera, but. I'll make you guys watch me do a little bit of fussy cutting. And then we're going to have to ink it, of course. A little bit of ink. Just on these two round pieces. Okay. Now, this is going to get glued down to the page. Not sure about that one yet, so let's move those off. Turn my page around so I can see what I'm doing. Okay, let's hope that we get it down straight. I'm going to glue this right down to the page. 
could put it on the top of the card and like make it a part of the pocket. But... Okay, we got that. Now let's see if we can't get it down about where we had it before. Um, one thing with doing these challenges, it really makes it a very eclectic journal of all different things. Now let's see, we got this down here. This is going to go there. That would actually go really good on the top of whatever I put inside the pocket. I'm going to save this. And eventually we'll make a tag for in here. And I'm going to use that as a tag topper. That's what I'm going to do with that. Okay, let's glue this down on three sides. There. There and along there, and put this down. There we go. This, I'm just going to paper clip this to here. Do I have a paper clip? Yeah, I got a big one here. So I'm just going to paper clip this to here. So then it's here for when I do something with that. I think that would look really good as a tag topper for whatever I put in that pocket. So here we go. We have something metal. And this is the clock face, I believe, is metal as well. The building, we've got the old barn circles, we've got the clock, we've got this, we've got this, we've got the tires, mirror, etc. And a clock, of course. And I might just put a little bit of weight on that. I think it's gluing, but it's kind of lifting the paper up. So I think it'll be okay. So that is week 20. All done and finished. Let me know what you think about the idea of using this on whatever in the future we make to go in this pocket. Whether it's a challenge or just something I make, who knows. We'll see what kind of stuff I pull out next week or over the next 20 something weeks. So there we go. Hope you enjoyed it. Hope you're playing along. Check out the links below. Um, subscribe, like, share, all that stuff. And I really do appreciate you being here with me. And we'll see you again soon. Bye.